All right, guys. Um, little update here. Uh, I lost my footage of rebuilding the combine gearbox for that bubble up auger today. Uh, don't ask me how. Um, as you can see, there are the two gears. If I cleaned all the crud out of those teeth, there are decent teeth left on it, but it's not worth putting used junk back in there. There's what's left of the bearings and the snap rings and everything. I changed all that stuff. <clears throat> Packed full of new grease and oil mix. Put it back in the combine. The combine is ready to roll. Um, I am going to pick up a new uh, 444 four row wide corn head for the combine on Saturday so I will be ready to combine for the neighbor. So as of right now the 4400 is ready to rock and roll. Um, and what I am doing now, I have these insulators, this style. Um, what I am doing is I am taking them, and here you can see this one, you know, this is what they look like. Um, what I am doing is I am cutting a notch in them, or cutting a slot in them so I can slide these over the high tensile wire. Um, and then I'm going to go get some pipe hanger that will fit in this groove and I can screw it to the tree. Um, I might have to wrap some electrical tape around here, not for sure yet. We'll see how it all works out. Um, but the problem I am having is on the one property line, when I put the fence up, um, the neighbor did not want me cutting down any of the trees that had wire in them from the old fence. And... You guys know that I want to buy the land from him, so I'm not going to sit and argue with him over that. I just hooked the wire to the trees, and we set T-posts in the ground where the old wires were. And whenever a tree falls down, we will straighten the fence out when that time comes. Um, keep my fingers crossed, he sells me land before that, and I can take all that down and move it to the new property line. But that's... Not happening yet, so anyway, so what I'm doing, you can see I'm notching these in. It, it takes a little bit to get uh, high tensile wire to slide through that notch, so I don't think I'd ever have to worry about the wire coming back out, especially if I hooked it to the tree and that notch was straight up and down. Um, but I'm going to go get the copper um, tube or pipe hangers that'll slide over here, then I could take two pole barn screws and screw them to the tree. Um, the problem I'm having is the deer hit it and they will they will break those wood post insulators, the type that have a pin lock in them. I like those kind of insulators, but they're, they don't hold up in that situation if they're going on a corner post and it's on the back side. So when a deer were to hit it, it's actually putting pressure into the post, then they're fine. But if it's the other way, they don't work very good, which, you know, obviously they wouldn't. But, and then the other problem I'm having is, as the tree grows, it breaks the insulators as well. It would help if I didn't have the screws tight, but if I don't have the screws tight and the deer hit them, they, they break too. So, I'm hoping that I can use these. And when I put them on the tree, I'm going to kind of leave them a little bit loose so the tree has room to grow. And uh, I'll just have to check them every year or every other year and just back the screws out of here if I have to so they don't break. <clears throat> but so that's what I'm attempting to do I do not have the hangers and it is 8 o'clock at night or whatever and I'm not going to run all the way into Menominee to try and find these things tonight but I'm kind of hoping to run to town maybe tomorrow or one of these days and get those and then I have a few broken ones out there that need to be changed they're not shorting out in the trees yet but I just might as well fix it right now you know before we get, we get snow so this is what I'm doing. This one here I notched out a little bit wider and in the high tons of wire fits through they're pretty snug. Um, worst case scenario I'll wrap electrical tape around the inside here so the wire can't short out on anything. But <clears throat> so I guess if there's any of you other guys out there that have the same kind of situation where you're hooking wire to trees, what do you guys use for insulators? Um, 
more specifically if you use high tensile wire, 12 and a half gauge wire. Um, what are you guys using? Um, I would really like to just cut the trees down, but I don't want to make the neighbor mad because I'm really crossing my fingers that he'll sell me this land someday in the near future, so I really don't want to make him mad. And he's all about deer hunting, so... And like I've told him, if he sells me the land, I would still let him hunt the land because I have no intentions of going up there to hunt. I have all kinds of other places I can hunt, so I don't really need to go up on top of that hill to hunt. <clears throat> Anyhow, so that's a lot of why I can't cut the trees down. A, he's, he's afraid that I would, you know. This has been an argument a couple years ago. Um, there hasn't been an argument lately. But I don't want to create an argument either, so this is kind of what we're dealing with. Like I say, I do not have the copper things, and it's late at night, so right now I'm not going to go get them. But uh, basically I'm just kind of showing what's going on here, and once I get the other stuff, we'll go out and change a couple of them. I'll video that, um, let you guys see exactly what it looks like when it's done. Um, but yeah, if anybody else has experience with this type of issue, let me know. Um, I know you can get the... The type of insulators that it's a it's like a leg bolt that threads in then it has a 90 degree on and this goes on and then it has a, a nut that goes on top to hold this on the problem is with high tensile wire you really don't want to wrap it around this if you don't have to um, so I'm kind of hoping to put the wire straight through that hole and hook this to the tree that way the wire can still slide through it and hopefully this will be stronger for when the deer hit it and like I say I won't I won't run the screws in tight <clears throat> to the tree so it has a little bit of movement so as the tree grows it can move back and forth and then I can just back the screws out a little bit if I have to um, so yeah that's what's going on and like I say the combines ready to roll uh, I lost the footage um, for some reason my camera now is not letting me play back any video that I make I have to go in and put it on the computer. I don't know. I don't know if it's the dust or exactly what. Um, and then uh, somewhere along the lines, I lost, <clears throat> like I say, all the footage of doing rebuilding this gearbox today and installing it in the combine or whatever. So, but it is ready to rock and roll. Um, that's kind of what's going on now. It's kind of wet. We won't be combining. I talked to the guy that has that 30 acres of corn, and we won't be combining for a week or two, I'm guessing. Um, but in the meantime, I want to fix this fence, and um, I want to uh, get back to cutting firewood. I have I cut a bunch of trees down on top of the ridge. Um, they need to be all cut up and hauled down, and then along the property line, trees are on my side of the fence. I'm going to cut down. And drag them down the hill with the gator to get them on the flat ground on the bottom and then buzz them up. But I want to open up along the fence line more so grass grows. So it's, I'm going to try and get back to doing some of that here in the near future. Um, and the steering gearbox, update on that. I drove it, put 100 miles on it yesterday. I actually maybe over tightened it a little bit. It's almost, it's not hard to steer, but it is definitely harder to steer. Um, but there's really no play in it, so I didn't have any death wobble yesterday or anything, so that was a good thing. Um, so it should be ready to go down Saturday to get that corn head. That'll be about another 100 mile round trip. So, and then I'm figuring this winter I'm going to order the steering gearbox and then a sinister steering gearbox reinforcement frame. Um, has a bearing that goes over the output on the steering gearbox. So it's supposed to help stiffen that up, prevent it from early failure. Um, so that's kind of what's going on there. The truck seems to be working good. I'm just kind of playing out here in the shop with these things. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's what's been happening. So, anyways, guys, hopefully there will be some combining videos yet to come. Um, I do have more round bales of corn stalks to make once my buddy gets done combining. Um, he needs a bunch of bedding for the pigs and for his beef. And I told him that I would trade him some baling for corn stalks or whatever. So I should be getting more bedding there too. Um, yeah, that's kind of kind of all that's going on right now. 
So just wanted to update everybody on that. Um, so anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Once I get the parts for this, we'll go out and hook some of the trees and see how that looks. And hopefully there'll be a corn head sitting here in the driveway on Saturday. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.